Welcome to part 13a of the A to Z Master Questscape Guide. I'm Hunter S, called the Runescape Lawhound, and today we'll be covering the following requirement. Three's Company, the first saga in the bridge over Fremy Waters achievement. As usual, I'd recommend that you watch my MQC Lengthiest and Hardest Requirements videos first when they pop up via suggestion cards. This is because it is important to start some requirements early. Also, if you have missed the previous A to Z guide, where we covered Blinded by Romano's Teaching and Bloodstained Treasure, please click the suggestion card that will appear now. For these videos, I'm going to assume you have the quest point cape. I will attempt to include the quest, skills, and any other requirement you need for each achievement. In addition, these video guides are Iron Man friendly. Remember, the link to my new Discord server, the Lawhounds Lounge, can be found in the description of this video, where you can ask for advice on the Master Quest Cape. With that, let's get started with the saga for today, which is Three's Company. So, the requirement we are looking at today is part one of five in the Bridge Over Fremy Waters achievement, and completing all five parts of this achievement will earn you 15 rune score. You must complete all the unabridged Fremenic sagas. Part 1 out of 5 of this achievement, which we are looking at today, is completing the unabridged version of the Three's Company saga. Completing Three's Company with a 100% completion will unlock the 300 achievement too, which is worth 10 rune score, but this isn't needed for the Master Quest Cape. To complete this saga, you need to have at least level 6 Dungeoneering, have at least level 30 Attack, Magic and Ranged and have a Ring of Kinship in order to find the Bear Pelt to unlock the saga. Before you can truly begin this saga, you must unlock it first by finding a Bear Pelt while dungeoneering within Daemonheim. This item can be found on any of the frozen floors, 1 to 11, while on complexity 2 or higher. But before you start any saga, you must find and unfreeze the man who gives them to you, Skaldron. He will appear randomly in one of the frozen rooms. Sadly, I have no direct footage showing unfreezing Skaldron or finding the bear pelt, so I would recommend listening carefully. After playing the frozen floors as many times as necessary to find Skaldron, you will need to kill all of the monsters in the room so that you will not be interrupted when speaking to Skaldron. After killing all the enemies, you will want to light a fire adjacent to the ice he is frozen in or you can cast a fire spell on the ice to unfreeze him. You probably will need to go through each chat option with him and then tell him to leave. He will then teleport to the surface. The bear pelt can be found in the same room Skaldron is frozen in, but to make sure you don't miss this, it is important to note that it will not appear as a red dot on your minimap. So look carefully. After touching the bear pelt, you will receive a message in the chat box stating to start the memory you must speak with Skaldron. Essentially, you have now unlocked the Three's Company Saga. Just as a quick side note, I'd recommend speaking to Skaldron and making sure you haven't unlocked the Three's Company Saga while dungeoneering randomly already before you spend hours and hours potentially looking for something you've already got. I will share Skaldron's location on Daemonheim momentarily. Now that you can begin the Three's Company Saga, equip your Ring of Kinship and teleport to Daemonheim. Be sure to bank all of your items before starting, as you cannot take any items into the saga with you. Run to the west of the stairs, and to the west of the reward shop, and you will find Skaldron towards the end of the path, just before heading north. Speak with him to access the Saga menu and choose to play the Three's Company Saga. Once you start the saga, you will begin in a room with Ariane, Ozan and Sir Owen. Each character will be needed at different times to complete specific puzzles throughout the dungeon. Your main objective in Three's Company is to complete the dungeon without any of the three characters dying. Achieving only this will result in the abridged rewards, while the unabridged rewards, which are the ones we need for the achievement, are obtained for completing side objectives. So each of the sagas in Bridge Over Fremy Waters needs to be completed at 100%, which is also called the unabridged version, in order to complete the requirement. The unabridged side objectives for Three's Company are as follows. 
Number 1. Investigate a large pile of rocks as Sir Owen to obtain ore. Number 2. Pick up a gold charm and two heim crabs, and then use them to summon a garage at the summoning obelisk in the room with the bridge and two rangers. Talk to the familiar to learn about smithing techniques. It is very important to note there are only two heim crabs in this room, so do not eat them, or you won't be able to do this side objective. Number 3. Get past the guard using Ozan's charm and pick up the broken longsword. Number 4. Also, after charming the guard, pick up the Fractite pickaxe as Sir Owen and mine the Zephyrium rock located in the guard's room. Don't worry if this looks complicated right now. I will walk you through the whole saga with all the unabridged side objectives completed. Just follow my lead. So, here we go. In the starting room you will find some food on the tables. Pick some up with each of the characters. You will want to start as Ariane. Select Earth Bolt to autocast in your spellbook and enter the next room. This room is guarded by a wolf, a ranger and two warriors. You will need to kill all of these opponents before proceeding to the next room. Once they are dead, switch to Sir Owen. Pick up the gold charm and two heim crabs. But remember, do not eat the heim crabs. Investigate the large pile of rocks to obtain some ore. Remember, this is one of the four side objectives required to complete the saga at 100%. Proceed to the next room. In the next room, you will find an ice puzzle where you will need to slide around the room in order to step on all of the pressure pads and activate the door. You will want to make sure you've switched to Ozan because Ariane and Sir Owen will slip and fall over. This puzzle varies for each player, so while there is not a specific route I can tell you to take, I can offer that if you are having difficulties reaching each pad, be sure to try sliding from all points at all directions. The next room you will find is called the bridge. This will be guarded by another wolf and two more rangers. It is recommended that you play as Ariane in order to kill the rangers as they will be in separate areas. Once the rangers are dead, use Ariane to summon a cub skin weaver by using the gold charm on the summoning obelisk. This will use the heim crabs too. And then talk with the skin weaver. This is your second side objective complete. Proceed to the next room. The puzzle in this room may be quite familiar to anyone who has done some dungeoneering, as you are required to flip tiles until all of them are either yellow or green. You will want to play as Ariane in this room. If you need to force a few tiles towards the end, Ariane should be able to do so without taking too much damage. An easy method to complete this puzzle is to first determine which colour you want all of the tiles to be. Next, look at your first row and find any tile that is not the selected colour, but don't flip them yet. Find the tile under the incorrect colour and choose to flip it. In this video, you will see Dragon D94 move the camera in order to see the whole puzzle and she starts flipping the green tiles. Dragon has chosen to make the whole puzzle yellow. As you can see as well, she only flips any tile that is directly under a green tile. You'll want to do this in order, in each row, starting in row 1 and then moving to 2 and 3 and so on. Once you reach the end, you may have a few that you will need to force, and that is fine. It doesn't matter which way you examine the puzzle, but once you start one row, you will want to stay consistent, or it may take you more time and be more difficult. Once the puzzle is done, proceed to the next room. In the next room will be three mysterious shades. Killing them is not required to finish the dungeon, or to leave the room but they can drop food if you need it. But be sure to grab the green rectangle key from this room. So now you need to return to the starting room and unlock the green rectangle door. For the next room, you will want to have Sir Owen and Ozan placed on the two pressure pads. It does not matter which tile Owen and Ozan stand on as it is interchangeable. Then use Ariane to go through the door. After you enter the door with Ariane, you will find yourself in a room with several crystals. 
Before even looking at the crystals, make sure you pick up the crimson triangle key in the corner of the room. Anyway, let's get back to those crystals. You can right click any of them to get premonition. This room is basically a game of Simon Says. You will see six crystals releasing puffs of smoke in a sequence. If you touch the wrong crystal, it can hurt you. So, if you're not sure of the sequence, you can get premonition again to simply watch it. You can do this as many times as needed. In the video, you will see that DragonD94 uses the get premonition a few times before continuing. In this case, the pattern was South Red, West Blue, West Blue, North Green, West Green and South Yellow. But this may be different for you. We are not sure if this is consistent player to player or if it varies. Return to the starting room and use the Crimson Triangle key. Attack the guard and the wolf with Ariane and be sure to pick up the food. If you haven't already, free Sir Owen and Ozan from the pressure pads by entering the room they are in and calling them. Then switch to Ozan and enter the east door where Ariane just killed the wolf and the guard. Use Ozan to talk with the guard on the other side of the room. When talking with the guard, you will want to use the following chat options. 1. Charm. What are you guarding? 2. Isn't guarding a door in these dungeons a little... redundant? 3. Who put you up to guarding the door? 4. Why are you bothering to guard it? At this point, the guard will walk away, and he'll walk to the nearest farming patch to grow some potatoes, thus leaving the door free. The next room you enter will have 8 statues, 2 in each corner of the room. Use Sir Owen to move the statues on the southern half of the room so that they match the statues on the northern half of the room. If Ariane or Ozan get in the way, just simply switch to them and move, or run around the room so that they follow you. Switch to Ariane and enter the room to the east. Kill the mysterious shades that appear. Before leaving this room, switch to Sir Owen and pick up the Fractite Pickaxe and mine the Zephyrium Rock in the northwestern corner of the room with the Charmed Guard. If you remember, this is another one of the side objectives that needs to be completed. This one is not shown in the video. However, I have highlighted the area on screen which you need to mine as Sir Owen. Simply return to Potato Guard's room and find the ore in the northwestern corner. After you've collected the ore, switch to Ozan and head back to the room with the statues. Take the door to the north. Here you will find various traps you will need to get around. Start by stepping on the suspicious groove in the hall. The next trap, as you can see, pops out from the wall. You will want to click spaces on the opposite side to make it across, as here in the video you can see DragonD94 trying different techniques to get around it without much luck. On the next trap, you can see Dragon stand one space behind the object, and she automatically hops over the swinging bit. You will then come across some spinning blades. To avoid these, just run to the west side of them. Be sure to pick up the broken longsword. When you pick it up, it will crumble and give you some ore. But this is the final side objective you will need to complete the saga at 100%. Return to the others and then switch to Ariane.
and go back to the room with the statues, and this time head south. Kill the bandits you will find in here. Enter the door to the east and pick up the gold crescent key. Speak with pickup sticks in this room. If all rooms have been cleared of enemies, tell him he can leave. Then, use your home teleport and return to the starting room. Head to the north and use the gold crescent key. This is the final room, and so you should prepare for a boss fight. You will fight two arctic bears and Khan. They are fairly low level, so you shouldn't have too much of a struggle. The bears will need to be killed before you can attack Khan. You can freely choose who you want to respond to Khan and how you want the saga to end. It does not make a difference. After you finish the dialogue, you will return to Skuldron at the surface. Hopefully he will award you both the abridged and unabridged tome. Bear in mind the reason why Dragon didn't get the unabridged tome in this video is because she missed out on the ore that was needed to be mined. But as long as you mined the ore when I told you to, you should have received both tomes and completed the 300 achievement and be one fifth of the way to completing Bridge Over Fremy Waters. Congratulations on completing the unabridged version of Three's Company, the first of the five sagas in completing the Bridge Over Fremy Waters achievement. Only another four to go. I would like to give a quick special thanks to Dragon for creating the saga script for this video. I've been so busy recently with university work and she volunteered her help. It was really nice of her to do this so please say thanks for helping the channel in the comments. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe for more MQC guides. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening on RuneScape and I'll see you in the next guide.